Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Just for your information, if and or when uh, the tube deletes me, I am still on BitChute and uh, I, I have some Bible studies on Bright Eon. It's on uh, Christian Bible studies on Bright Eon. I might put a link to it just so that you have it, and I'll put a link for my Bright Eon thing either in the description or in the comments that I pin. I'm going to put some new studies that I know the tube would look unfavorably on I'm going to post them on BitChute. Uh, Bright Eon basically cut me off. So, you know, I, I've had it with Bright Eon. Mike Adams is a gatekeeper anyways. I mean, you know, anybody that loves Alex Jones, pfft, you know, what can I tell you? Uh, this is going to be a continuation of the Isaiah series chapter 65 there's only 66 chapters so i'm re getting really close so what i'm going to do is the 65th book in the bible is the book of jude and the chapters in isaiah roughly follow the book's theme of the bible so the 65th chapter of isaiah roughly follows the book of jude so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the book of Jude first. And then I will go back and do Isaiah. So I guess this will be Isaiah 65, part A, the book of Jude. Now Jude is only one chapter. If memory serves me correctly, Jude had a brother named James and um, their father's name was Joseph, and their mother's name was Mary. Yes, they grew up with Jesus. I strongly recommend you buy some old Bibles. The older King James Bibles are probably better than the new ones. I'm, I've been finding that they're starting to make changes in the King James Um uh, you know, I don't have time to go through the entire Bi Bi old and new Bibles and see what the changes were made. There was a wonderful Christian woman. Um, her name's Gail Ripplinger. She did a phenomenal study on the changes to the new Bibles. And of course, you got all the heretics that'll coming out of the woodwork and saying she's a liar and this and that and the other. And, you know, uh, one of the things is there were several versions of the NIV. There's the 1984, and then there was another one they did, I think, in the late 80s, and then there was another one they did in the 90s. And then she'll look at one of the versions and then say, well, you know, the NIV says this, but the King James says that. And then what they'll do is they'll go to a different printing of the NIV where it was revised, and then they'll say, oh, she's a liar. The NIV doesn't say that where, where she says it does. You know, you're dealing with devil children. You know, I trust Gail Ripplinger. I may not agree with all her conclusions, but I'll tell you what, her, her work on the King James compared to the modern Bibles was better, was better than the Bible, uh, the King James Bible study uh, Bible class that I had in Bible college. Yeah, we had a, an entire class on why the King James Bible is what we believe is the Word of God. And I have n absolutely no problem at all with the, the Geneva, and I like the Webster Bible. Yeah, the dictionary guy, he, he was a believer. Uh, if you, you want to get a real good Bible dictionary, uh, Webster's 1828 Dictionary is a real jewel. 
I mean, he knew over 20 different languages fluently. I mean, the guy was a genius. He was a linguist, which is a language scholar. And he knew Hebrew, which is the Old Testament language. He knew Greek, which the which was the New Testament language. I mean, you know, and when you read his word definitions, he often quotes scripture where the word's found. I mean... You know, there's going to come a time when the, the internet scrubs the Bible of from from the internet. It's just, it's going to happen. Maybe not the Old Testament so much, but the New Testament definitely gone. So keep that in mind, people. Get yourself some old Bibles because the internet's not going to be around, at least not what we're, what not as we know it. So... All I know is it would be wise to uh, stock away some Bibles, stock away some necessary things that you couldn't survive on if, let's say, the grocery store closed. Maybe have some seeds put away. Um, and uh, like I say, if anybody wants uh, all my Bible studies on a USB flash drive, thumb drive, whatever they call it nowadays. Uh, write me, send me one. I'll I'll put everything, and I'll send it to you. You could do with it whatever you want. I don't copyright everything. Jesus said, "Freely you have received, freely give." And guess what? I don't do this for money. So uh, you know, nobody pays me to do this. So that means I'm an amateur. I'm not a professional. Professionals get paid. Amateurs, we do it out of love. So, all right. Um, that's my ranting and raving today. Um, you know, so um, things are getting real, people. I honestly think that uh, this year is going to be a horrible year if you're white and Christian. So, all right, here's the introduction to Isaiah 65, but we're really going to do the book of Jude, and I'm going to break this up. So, all right, this is uh, the end of the introduction.